Hello everybody, good morning, God bless you all in Jesus' name. It is 7.29 a.m. Aussie time and it is Saturday, the 16th of October 2021 and I want to share this with you real quick. This is an article from Wikipedia and um, it's quite interesting. See that creature there, the hydra species? Recognize it? It looks identical to the creature that is inside the vials of the zombie juice that is being put into humans. I'll just read a bit of this here. Hydra is a genus of small freshwater organisms of the phylum Cinderia and class Hydrozoa. They are native to the temperate and tropical regions biologists are especially interested in hydra because of their regenerative ability they do not appear to die of old age or to age at all see where it says family isn't it interesting how it says dana i pronounce it dana or dana dana dan tribe of Dan, the uh, copper-based blue-blooded people, the seed of the serpent. Anyway, I'm going to go down here. Morphology. Look at that. Hydra has a tubular, radially symmetric body up to 10 millimetres long when extended, secured by a simple adhesive foot known as the basal disc. Gland cells in the basal disc secrete a sticky fluid that accounts for its adhesive properties. At the free end of the body is a mouth opening surrounded by one to 12 thin mobile tentacles. Each tentacle, or cinder, nida, cinder, is clothed with highly specialized stinging cells and syndocytes. Syndocytes contain specialized structures called nematocysts which look like miniature light bulbs with a coiled thread inside. At the narrow edge, where am I up to? At the narrow outer edge of the syndocyte is a short trigger hair called a syndocyl. Upon contact with prey, the contents of the nematocyst are explosively discharged, firing a dart-like thread containing neurotoxins into whatever triggered the release. This can paralyze the prey, especially if many hundreds of neo nematosis are fired. Do you know what that makes me think of? How they can sting you with the tentacles. What does the Bible say about those who take the mark? They'll be tormented for five months by those locust creatures and their sting is like the sting of a scorpion. Now, these locust creatures, could they be inside people? via the uh, zombie juice or are we literally going to see them when they come out of the pit or are these things here these creatures here they're going to be stinging the marked people from the inside tormenting them I don't know But, um, yeah, these things don't die. It's like the worm that never dies. 
Look, it says hydras have two significant structures on their body, the head and the foot. When a hydra is cut in half, each half will regenerate and form into a small hydra. The head will regenerate a foot and the foot will regenerate a head. If the hydra is sliced into many segments, then the middle slices will form both a head and a foot. So, this thing does not die at all. There it is. Do you see it? If you watch the video by Project Veritas, they interviewed a, a lady, I think she was a scientist. She looked at this thing under the microscope and it looks like this. So, check out this article. I'll leave a link in the um, pinned comment of this and you can go look look it up you can read it and um, look at the pictures let me know what you think okay god bless you all in jesus name and have a very beautiful day bye bye